at some old Paper Mario so last time we met Mount Rucket. Uh, what does Mario have to say about this area, I wonder? Watch out for the sneaky monster monsters that come into this area. That that dirty fires, they pop up from underground and chuck rocks at people, the cowards. So there you go. So last time, yeah, we explored Mount Rocket, fought some new enemies, and yeah, we're really powerful now because, yeah, we have Quake Camera on our side, and we also have a really decent time member in Parapari. And yeah, he helped us explore and get even more goodies, including yeah, a really powerful badge of Quake Camera. So yeah. This time, though, we're going to be finding a decently difficult mini boss, so yeah. Let's see how well we do. But of course, we probably don't need Parakari for them immediately, so yeah. But then we're going to be using. Goodbye, love it, but we're going to need Parakari here to blow us over. There you are. Alright, there they are. So. We need a new badge slot, because the thing about our current badges is a lot of them don't work. So. Like, Quake Hammer, um, Cloud Finder. Speed spin and dizzy attack, so yeah. Uh, that means let's get strength stop, power bounce, e 2 plus probably, and it was cool. That'll be a bad stuff for this, so yeah. Uh, too bad, yeah, I don't have full HP, but hey, we'll roll with it. I think we can do this. Yeah, what's good bar I had to say about this? Uh, we're gonna be leading it, obviously. Whoa, we're pretty high up. Ooh, I feel a little faint. I never told you this before, but I have a fear of heights. Hey there, hold up a second, partner. Just, just a darn minute. I seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario, who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? So here, if you say Mario, we fight him. If you say Luigi, you can skip him. And if you say Princess Peach, um, you fight him as well, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, again, this is actually an optional fight. Let's say Peach. What's that, Princess Peach? You take me for a fool, Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for a big bibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your whooping. So let's take on this guy. This is Buzzer. This is Buzzer. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big burn. 43 0. If you get caught in the clutch of a shark claws, you lose 4 HP. Try a wriggle out of this grip. The special attack is slapping and swing to create wind. The attack damages your party members too. But like he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. So anyway, I believe he's a set to pull to strength stop, so let's try it. Nope, so yeah. But yeah, here's that attack that Kupar was talking about. And yeah, it knocks out our partner for two turns, which isn't great. So yeah, once again, let's try strength stop. Here's again, I think it works. Yeah, it does. So he now has weakened attack, so that's good. So he only does one. So now I'm gonna try a power bounce, I think. There you go, that's not bad. And yeah, now he's back to normal. This is his grab attack. This is similar to running away in battle, so yeah. There we go. He got freed. So now... I think I'm gonna use this turn to heal up a bit, so yeah. Let's get into Parakari, because Parakari is a shell shot ability, obviously. And I think, yeah, let's use Refresh. Let's get a little bit of health back. Second, he's a powerhouse, to be honest. He does a lot of damage, he can hit your partner, not agreeable. So, yeah. And yeah, I just saw that Shrink Stop does work, but yeah. Okay, that's a weaker attack, alright. Okay, again, it does cost FP, and it does mean that, yeah, we're not, you know, damaging him, but hey, for that much. So there you go, we got it again, because you're now going to go for shot shot. Uh, I made him smaller, so that's kind of a problem. And then go fight damage, good. And then go for damage taken, that's fine. Alright. Let's try... Do I want to go for power bounce? Sure, I'll go for power bounce. I think the thing about power bounce is that he has a cap on the bosses, so yeah, he can't, like, you know, <laughs> completely destroy them in one turn, but hey. There we go. Very nice. But he is back to the so yeah. Let's see if we can run away from this. 
be kind of good. But the problem is, we are out. So, I want the W's. The healing guy I'm here. I think I will. I'll use all my honey syrups. I can refund it too. So there you are. Now we'll go for two shell shots, I think. And yeah, that's a much easier target to hit, what do you say? There we go. There's that feather attack, I'm watching I got it, but I was able to got it. I don't think we take damage, which is pretty cool. And yeah, once again, I'll go for it again, because it's very consistently good damage. There we go. And yeah, all we need is one more turn. And that'll be it. So that was not too bad. I think I did alright in that fight. Not amazing or anything like that. I think one thing that definitely helped is it's not using that feather attack too much. I mean, that does four. Which is pretty bad, but we're gonna get next turn. Like so. So there we go. That's the end of Buzzar. Get 15 star points right through two. Yeah, I got what? And again, he's optional, so if you don't want to fight him, you can skip him for the time being. But yeah. Keep in mind though, is that yeah, you'll need to keep answering Luigi there to, you know, get past him or her. Depends. So yeah. Anyway, over here, yeah, like I thought, heart block. And also the save block, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. So yeah. Next up is actually try try this. I guess we could talk about something interesting of it going here. It's something kind of interesting. Colorado is searching out mysteries as usual. He seems to be looking for runes, sir. Now the thing about Good Barrio is that Dry Tone Runes is really big. And Good Barrio has dialogue for every screen in this place, which is kind of funny, but anyway. You can't hit this tree, unfortunately, but that's okay, but anyway. So yeah, Good Barrio still got Colorado's dudes. Here they are. This is a Cooper Troop from the excavation team. The team is assisting Colorado. That looks like hard work. I don't want to do it. Doing chores in this heat, though. Kutcher for the invest excavation team. Team assistant Colorado. You'll say that excavations are about as boring as you can imagine to find something. I bet that's true. And what about Colorado? He's the famous archaeologist Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. He is wild about treasures and ancient secrets, so he's always taking off around the world in some adventure. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that Cooper wants to see him. Oh, oh another thing too, another person who actually wants to see him too. Let's look at Imus again. Um, we have a mail for him, so we obviously want to give him that as well. But first, let's talk to him, Cooper. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Tri Desert upside down to find the Dry Tri Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information and try to outposts which is near here. Sadly as up yet, we're having little success. All I need is all I need is a clue, I'll be golden. What whoa, you're Professor Colorado? It's Cooper. I live next to you. It's so great to see you. I never would expect to meet you and <laughs> meet up with you out there. I'm right in the middle of an expedition, Mario. I'm gonna be an archaeologist like you. Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. Well now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Whoa, okay. As soon as we're done saving the Princess Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I will go exploring. Alright. Let's go talk to him again, but this time with Power Curry. And yeah, the same dialogue until... Paracari talks. You're Colorado, correct? The name's Paracari, the little letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. There you go. Another letter duly delivered. The post on shop is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I need to give me strength to go on. I know, I'll pass this long as the spa thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. Let's start PC. Yeah, pretty much always you get um, pretty much those letters, they always give, like, um, star pieces as rewards, so that's why we're going to be delivering them, obviously. Alright, let's get acquainted with Dry Try Des a little bit. I didn't actually, okay, that, that didn't work out as well as I hoped. I'm going to see if a sleepy sheep works here, because, yeah, I kind of, I'm a little bit worried, that's four enemies right there. I quite busy him, but oh well, I guess I spin more off. Okay, what pretty good. Alpha free turns, that's good. 
Let's tell. This is a bandit. Bandits bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal to 10 coins. 520. They'll slyly approach and slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen points back. Let's be in before they can make up with your loot. There's their attack. But they, if you got it, well, they make a funny sound effect, and also, um. Oh, yeah, I don't have Quake. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what I was gonna use in this fight, but I guess I'll use Cooper instead. Because I need my old patch up back. So let's do that. Let's get Cooper in here. And yeah, that's them stealing the coin. But if we hit them, we'll get the coin back. So yeah, there we go. Let's go for Power Shell. Because we're gonna need to burn a lot of FP up here. Banners are kind of annoying, but yeah, they're not too bad. And once again, let's do it again. <laughs> Most of us could be good here, but of course Quake Hammer is definitely what we're going to be using a lot, so yeah. So yeah, now, yeah, this won't be too bad. I think, yeah, what they'll do is, is they'll uh, update still the coin. Again, that was too early. There we go. So, other they steal the coin, I think I'm going to use Refresher as well. Other they steal the coin, they'll try to run away, I believe, so yeah. I know that's kind of annoying in Paper Mario 2 if you're in the pit, but yeah, I think it's not too bad, especially because they only steal a single point, so yeah. Anyway, get that guy, get our money back, and we'll take on the last guy. There we go. So yeah, now after this, I need to get my badge stuff back. So yeah, the thing about Try Try Desert, I guess, is that, yeah, again, like a lot of Mario games, the desert world is the second world, so yeah, and this game is no exception, so yeah. Anyway, alright, let's redo our badge stuff. Yeah, once again, I probably don't need this, 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 or this, or this. Everything else is good though, so yeah. Let's get Quake back, um, Flower Finder obviously, these two, and then, yeah, I have enough for refund again, so let's do it. Alright. So yeah, there's a couple- okay, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> again, it's a desert world, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but hey. Because like, a lot of Mario games do this, obviously, so yeah. But yeah, I think the thing about Dry Dry Desert for me is that, yeah, it kind of feels like, you know, a desert map in a prime game. There's a lot of secrets to be found. But anyway, we have a new enemy. Unfortunately, I uh, don't have good Mario, which is not the best, but well, I guess we'll get back in there. Because I know how to deal with these enemies. They're going to use Quick Hammer. <laughs> Because yeah, as it turns out, yeah, a lot of these enemies are attacking in huge groups, so yeah. So this is a Pokey, by the way. That's how they attack. Pretty cool looking attack, to be honest. Let's tell. This is a Pokey, evil cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and pulling on you. 420. Be careful find them. It'll hurt you if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of pulling in reinforcements. Let's beam up quickly. Yeah, they kind of take them out of the ground. It's kind of interesting looking, but anyway. Another quick kills on those, so that's good. Yeah, a lot of big groups of enemies, this, so our AoE attacks are gonna be great. We are close to our level one too, so we'll also take a bunch of that. And also, of course, Flower Finder. So, yeah, as you can probably expect, yeah, Koopa's actually extremely good at Tri Tri Desert, so yeah. Because when that everything's grounded, and just like my quick, he can also attack AoE, so yeah. Now, here, not great, but we'll deal with it. <laughs> Yeah. Again, there's a lot of secrets in Tri Tri Desert. That's what, like, that's what makes it interesting, but it did take me a while to figure out what those secrets were, so yeah. Because they are pretty well hidden. Yeah, that's a little bit <laughs> of a weird type of guard, but well. But yeah, we'll take out this Pokey now. And once again, yeah, Koopa's really good in this place. And you're gonna be, gonna be seeing why in a bit, but anyway. We're definitely going to level up soon, so that's good, and once again, we're going to be getting VP. <laughs> and yeah, I've got the bandit. There he is. Yeah, they run around pretty quick, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to dizzy spin them, but there you go. And yeah, that's a kind of big group of them, so yeah. Uh, yeah, quick. The dude in the front does look very interesting. So there you go, and yeah, they're going to level up on this, so might as well spam the FP. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. When you're close to level up, to just spam it. There we go, good god. 
there's something else I kind of want to talk about too, it's kind of weird though, is the thing, because yeah, we, we still call a and yeah, with Koopa talking to him, that kind of reminds me of something. So, the thing about my family is that we actually know someone kind of relevant, I guess. I wouldn't say they're a celebrity, but they're kind of famous, let's just say, so yeah. That is kind of what that's reminding me of, so yeah. This is kind of important. That's kind of... Related to this mystery, so I wonder if Goodbye has anything to say about this room in particular. In an area like this, it's tough to find things that can serve as landmarks. But that rock in the shape of a cactus is a pretty good one. But yeah, that thing's a twister. It basically transports you to a random square. I think this is like a 5x5 five five grid or something like that. It's pretty massive, so yeah. We have an NPC here finally, says so Totem. He's in the Maddie Mouse. It looks like he's in mid journey. I bet he has some amazing stories to tell. A wandering nomadic mouse, roaming the world, no responsibility, so lucky. Hello, fellow travelers, in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. There's a town called Tri Tri Outputs, where you surpass it. And yeah, that's all he's got to say. I have a, I'm having a rest in the shade. Rule number one when returning through a desert, never hurry. Deserts, especially this desert, are vast and confusing. If you wander too far afield, you'll definitely get lost. So, yeah. Uh, again, this place is definitely very much like a um, desert map in a farm game, that's for sure. Anyway, anyway, I think what we're gonna do is, because this place is huge, I'm gonna be exploring it in the next part. Um, because, yeah, I want a whole part dedicated to just wandering this place and finding all its secrets, so yeah. Uh, anyway, can I actually dizzy attack this guy? There we go. <laughs> that was a very unorthodox way of doing it, but there you go. So now, yeah, once again... Quick. It would be very convenient if, you know, Koopa had free attack, you know. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. There we go. I guess, yeah, then we knock out all of them in one turn. I also save a lot of FP doing that too, but anyway. There we go, good. And... There you go, good. And anyway, once again, we could use Refresher get back. I mean, I don't think we need to. I'll just use Cooper again. Hang on, I think we should have used Mario because Quake Gamma is cheaper, but that's okay. It'll work out. Once again, they only give them one star point, so they're not too high level, it seems. Once again, let's get some flowers back. So, uh, once again, we could think about the, um, we could think about the, what's it called, uh, refresh, but anyway. Over here, I'm gonna dry try out this, but before we go there though, there's one secret I do remember, it's down here. So once again, <laughs> more of these clowns. They're, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, bandits, they first appeared in Mario World and they were very infamous in that game because of what they did, so yeah. Okay, this is a bit annoying, but... I mean, we'll save... Uh, yeah, I'll save the FP. Problem is, yeah, we have to attack this guy, is the problem, so yeah. Which is very annoying, but it's okay. But yeah, having 5 HP is very annoying at this point, considering how our attacks are looking, so yeah. But yeah, Pokies, yeah, they're kind of interesting because yeah, they launch their segments at you. It's not like Paper Mario 2, because there's yeah, something that isn't super well known about them, is if you super guard bad attacks specifically, um, you'll... Okay, there we go, good, guard that. If you... If you super guard the attack that he launched that body at you, you can super guard it and then it'll reflect back at them, which is really cool looking. Again, super guard normally does do damage at you, but I think that actually does even more damage than usual, so yeah, that's really cool. And over here, another dude. <laughs> I don't know why I'm fine with to be honest, but hey. And yeah, once again, it would be really nice if he had free attack on Koopa, but that's okay. Or free attack on Warren, I guess as well. There they go. Let's go for that power shell. You guys got again. It seems like yeah, Tri-Tri does it. Yeah, lots of big groups of enemies. So there we go. And yeah, this is a good time to use refresh, I think. I do like that sound effect. <laughs> but they don't steal anything, so yeah. Let's use that refresh right now. Because yeah, then we'll be able to maybe get back to a more respectable amount of FP because the yeah, Flower Finder, it's really good, but of course it's a bit luck based. With how much FP you get back, so yeah. Let's go that power shell. Well done. And 
the altar. So, uh, well, once again, they're not giving too much, but that's okay. That was a pretty lucky amount there, so, uh... Anyway, yep. Hit nine there, life shroom. Restores 10 HP when Mario's HP hits zero. Basically, a lifeline. Very good lifeline, in fact, so, uh... I believe, yeah, if you see a Pokey, I recommend trying to fight them, because, yeah, they can drop an iron that's pretty good. I don't remember if it's all Pokies that do that, or just a certain variety of them, but yeah. But there we go, and the next turn, we can just use our regular attacks, so yeah, we can save a little bit and keep going up. But yeah, you can kind of see why, yeah, even though, like, yeah, we have Flower Finder, but I can also see, you know, this is also make me realize that, yeah, Flower Saber can also be nice too. Because, yeah, we are permanently reducing the amount of FP we're using. That's kind of why it's good. I didn't think Firefind was that good, because it's only reduced by one. But that one adds up if you, um, you know, keep using a fear tux in my hands. So, yeah. And there we go. But, yeah, you see that we got some grass here. So, yeah. Let's go over here. And check it out. An oasis. I bet Gumbari has something good to say about this place, considering how he acts with the rest of this place. Oh, thank heavens, I lost you found an oasis, it's not a mirage, is it? The trees are so green, the world is so blue, hooray! And over here, we can get a lemon, 1 HP, 2 FP. It's mainly a cooking item. And over here, a lime, but unfortunately for lime, so... I'm going to toss the lime, because I can always get more hit later. And yeah, even the heal block too. To make up for all that FP I'm spending. But yeah, it doesn't restore your star power though. But anyway, the main prize though is this. A super block. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party members will also master new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? There's no wrong choice here in my opinion, because yeah, all of them will get an attack boost. But yeah, let's think about the situation. So yeah, first off, let's look at Gumbario. We use Gumbari a lot, and also, yeah, he's going to be doing 4 damage, I believe the most of anyone here, with his regular attack, which is quite nice. He also gets charged, which is actually pretty good in this game. Um, I believe he can use 1 FP to charge up to do plus 2 damage, and he can keep doing that until his next attack, which is really cool. It's actually concerning that, yeah, he doesn't get attacked by most attacks, so yeah. If you know the boss card type the partner, then yeah, this is a really powerful ability. So Gabari is pretty good. Because yeah, he's never got the most potential there. But then we got Koopa, who also gets a damage boost. He gets three attack, which <laughs> uh but he also gets Dizzy Shell, which yeah, if this works, then yeah, it's basically like a dizzy dial. But of course it's a bit luck based and also doesn't attack flying enemies too, so yeah. Not bad ability right there. They got Bombette, whose power bomb will attack all on ground enemies. So yeah, if you want to really nuke at her, this is not bad at all, to be honest. It's not bad because especially because yeah, she's gonna get a power boost too. She can potentially do like five damage to all enemies on the ground. Not bad. And by Parakari, the new player member, of course, he's gonna get a nice damage boost. Like considering how versatile he is with his attacks at the moment, that's not bad. He also get airlift. I believe he carries an enemy off screen, but yeah, he needs to be able to grab the enemy, so he can't do that against a pokey. But yeah. It's not bad, I think you still get the star points too. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I feel like that's crap. But because of because we're gonna make sure try try desert a lot, let's do Koopa. Because again, Koopa will get free attack. So then his power shell plus quake hammer will kill off everything. Because the only enemies are bandits and pokemon, so yeah. There we go. He's a very good choice for your first super rank because of that, so yeah. Because again, I'm thinking about the situation. Again, next spot, we're going to be exploring um, Tri Tri Desert a lot. So, yeah. So, having the um, Quake Power Shell combo is going to be very nice. With that done, let's go to Tri Tri Outpost. And we'll get a good Barrio here because, yeah. New area, obviously. It's Tri Tri Outpost. Lots of Trites and Nomadi Master of here. I'm so happy to find civilization on crossing that desert. Despite the climate, lots of travelers seem to come here, so they can't get that many tourists, it's too hot. Welcome travelers, you must have had a long hot journey getting here. Welcome to Tri-Tri Outpost. Mouse stop is the leader of this entire town, so you better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. 
Master Mustafa is the main man here. Yeah. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, oh. Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. Say, is that a second degree card? Hey, I'm a second degree card too. Oh, awesome. I can't believe that I'm as strong as you are, Mario. Yeah, another dude who's at the dojo. Hey, guess what? Hey, some in the desert there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, you'll find something special hidden. Not sure how you find it, how to find it exactly out of it. You should go there, huh? Oh uh, yeah, and want someone else? I know lots of other stuff. Use the stuff, hey. These dryads look like they have big heads because they're wrapped in cloth. It's hard to tell them apart since we can only see their eyes. So this guy has some secrets. So yeah, about try try doesn't. So he's going to be important to remember. Anyway, isn't the Maddie Mouse doing something? Interesting, baby. Have you seen the old fortune turn to a turn? He's always right, so his fortune telling is famous. If you hit trouble in the middle of your adventure, it'd be a good idea to see him. Over here. Am I from Totan? Ah, oh, that's a ways away. Try to ruins? Nope, never heard of it. It sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for try try whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. So as this information trader lives in town and sorts information for items. There's something along those lines. That's why that's what my friend says. My friend, this guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. <laughs> so of course, we can't go in here because, yeah, that's definitely closed. In here we've got this dude. Ma hmm, are you dressing me? A composer I am. Writing songs well, I try. Uh, I wish I could find some lovely heart-moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. I'll remember him for later. He's actually kind of tied to a side quest. Hey, over here. A brother and sister are very close to the top shooting star summit. The brother Merlo collects star pieces and will trade badges for them. The sister more lovely is a fortune teller will tell you where to find badges. Long ago in this very land, there was a kingdom called Tri Tri Kingdom. King Mus Musta ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects. Any upchise in that far Tri Tri Kingdom was ruined. King Mustar escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and the fierce betrayers. King Mustar supports the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Hmm, it's a more director. Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to escape Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Here's our toad house. Might as well use it, I guess. To get back to fighting strength. So there you are. Good luck up there. I heard that archaeologists in Colorado is around here looking for tri tri ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, we won't find them. Tri tri was built by robbers long ago, you know. The boss of the robbers is the descendant of the king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of this kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now, the descendant of that boss hides in this town, and keeps the ruins safe from prying eyes. <laughs> so a lot of interesting things going on, but over here, you can actually go over here, and yeah, there's something interesting going on here. Keep this quiet. If this one causes a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your tap pad might get strong, you might get more coins from winning. Other, stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. So yeah, these are kind of explain what this person does. She's a wizard, Merly. She casts spells. If you let her cast a spell on you, it may affect your battle. She's one of a pair of twins. The other one is my lovely from Chingus last summer. When I look at the, a woman as beautiful as this, it makes me feel all strange. Yup. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling chilly? Feeling blue? I'm Merly, you see. That's me. A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not the free. Your luck has steered you well, for I am a master of the spell. If my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare take a chance? Wanna watch my cards dance? Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one if you would. i pay as much as I could. So yeah, I recommend going with the special course, because... The other two don't last long enough for, you know... They're basically not cost-effective. Special course, though, is very cost-effective, so you have to do it. Well, ready. Tally-ho. And here we go. 
I always like having the spell because, okay, you can't rely on it, but when it does activate, though, it can be quite useful, so yeah. And also looks kind of cool, too, as you see that. <laughs> it's just another, like, nice thing that could happen. I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It'll light your darkest tower. Even if you, should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a family feast. See you then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. So there go. I do like Merly quite a bit. She's always kind of a fun thing to have. But you see that, hmm, what was that all about? This is Sheik. Uh, yeah, not the same Sheik of Ocarina Time, Bolivar. You think the guy could shake the dust from his clothes? If I didn't know he was an information trader, i say we should stick there on them. Still, he's our best source of course. As adventurers, we have to deal with all kinds. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Alright, I need to store my items. I think I'm going to do that first. So yeah, I might give him that mushroom to be honest, because again, I don't think I need it too much. But you see that, yeah. We can now check out the iron shop, so yeah. Nothing, Traveller. This is the renowned little Mauser shop, the dry dry desert. What can we interest you in? So yeah, I want to check. Um, I'll keep the life stream. I want that lemon. I guess I'll put away the egg. Because again, that's mainly used for cooking, so yeah. I think this will work. So yeah. Oh yeah, I should mention what he has. It's not bad, to be honest, because he has Thunderbolt, decent item. Dusty Hammer, you can attack enemies on the ceiling, which will be important later. I need to start for FP recovery, dry stream, because why not? Dry pause is also kind of a cooking ingredient, and a fine mushroom. So yeah, it's not too bad of a suction mimes. A bit more niche though than like some of the other shots we found though. So why not, let's talk to this information trader. Someone who gives things is nice. Alright, let's give him my mushroom. Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're very nice, you'll give me something more. Oh, I need to give more stuff. Uh, my other mushroom. Give me something. It might be nice. All right. Um, are you syrup, baby? I'm throwing away all my arms, sir. You give me many things. Very nice guy. Yes, very nice. My name is Sheep. I train in information. Things others do not know. So nice guy. All you like to know. Um, how about about try try desert? Dry dry deserts are vast, everlasting sea of sand. Under the sea, many secrets lie buried. More secrets than there are stars in the sky. The legend of Dry Dry Ruins is one of these secrets. Only Mr. Mastoffa knows where the legend rests. If you still if you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes, you understand? Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, looking at that, we're gonna need two more items, I think. So yeah. The good thing is, is that this item shop has very cheap and not too great items, so yeah. Like these dusty hammers, so yeah. You can obviously give these to him, so yeah. But yeah, you can skip this if you know the solution to it already, but I kinda just wanna play around with it. Or play along, I guess. So yeah, let's give him the dusty hammer. So, how to get to the ruins. You must see Mr. Mouse Stopper to find the resting place of Tritar -tri Ruins. Mr. Mouse Stopper is the center of the great robbers who built Tritar -tri Outpost. He is somewhere in the, t in the town. Yes, but exactly where only his ch close followers know. I could tell his secret, but only to the nicest of nice guys, yes. If you still seek knowledge, you must <laughs> give me something more. Alright, I'll give you a moment. Alright, what's your favorite food? My favorite food starts at an L, and ends with an N. It's a yellow fruit, so sour. Such a nice fragrance. Its tree grows only in the desert oasis outside town. If you were to go to the oasis and get one more for me, I might believe you're a true nice guy. Or, of course, the only the nicest of guys can meet must stop her. Alright. So, I have a lemon. Oh, heavenly, a lemon. The nicest of nice things. You have proven you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you to be really nice. How to see Mouse Stopper? To find Mr. Mouse Stopper, go to the shop in the town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. 
You must buy them in the code for the yes. Remember, try to shrimp first, then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign note to those Lord of Stopper. If you buy these things at the credit order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mouse Stopper. Remember, you must not buy them in the correct thing credit order. Alright. So dried shrimp dust gamma. You wish if I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mouse Stopper, nice guy. But yeah. Dried shrimp dust gamma, alright. That should be it. If it's not that, well it's the other way around, obviously, so yeah. Alright. Let's do that. My dry shroom. And buy a dusty hammer. Yep. What ho? Buying a dusty hammer at the dry shroom? It's a secret sign that, that only friends of Mr. Mastopper know. That means you're in with Mastopper. Hey brother, good to meet you. Have any have any questions you've answered? You want to you want to see Mr. Mastopper? He's usually up on the highest bar to try to our outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Alright. We'll go see him and then we'll end this part, I think. That's what we're gonna do. Then yeah, next time I will explore try try or try try desert actually. This is open now, so that's cool. So yeah, let's go up here. And yeah, there's even a letter here too. Traveling the Muddy Mouse. Yeah, that guy from before. Let's use Paracurry here, so we can get over. And there we go. Hey, it's Sheik again. Alright. Let's get good Mario here again. And yeah, that's the dialogue. Oh well. Let's talk to him. Hey, nice guy. Meet again. I'm glad you found me. I must stop her. Yep, he was the sky himself, obviously. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about to try to help us, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a Germany nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you're by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Because I gave you a love. <laughs> Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Tri Tri Ruins. I have a feeling you are on a foreign journey, so I'll tell you the secret. Tri Tri Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will not tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone, the closer you get to Tri Tri Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to find Tri Tri Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Alright. Da 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 dum! Sheik revealed his true self! I guess that means he's the boss everyone talks about. Uh, I was expecting my start to look a lot cooler. <laughs> I think mean, it also kind of sounds like the Zelda item get, which is body because of course Sheik, but anyway. You guys are going to be da 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 da. So yeah, uh, maybe he is on something, but anyway. But you got Chuck Quiz right here, why not? Let's see. Um, I always hesitate because I'm worried I'll get the question wrong, but hey. I don't think the early quests are that bad because, well, they does mm, goodbye use often. Or use frequently, I mean. It's obviously Tal. Correct. That's another star piece. And yeah, you can appear here too, obviously. You visit basically every town. So there you go. Alright, this will be a good point to end. Because your next time, I think, yeah, we'll talk to this guy a lot, probably. Get a lot of secrets out of him. And yeah, this is supposed to be the last part I record before my holiday too, so yeah, that's gonna be a bit interesting, so yeah. Hopefully once I get back, I won't be too rusty, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So next time, like I said, we have the Pulse Stone so we can find Tri Tri Ruins, but I also want to uncover more of the secrets of Tri Tri Desert, so let's do that as well. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.